So today we are going to make Betty Crocker's peanut brittle mix. It will probably be the easiest mix that you make. All you need is one cookie sheet, parchment paper, and the mix. So I have never actually made this before. So we're going to quickly go through the instructions and see how it's made. So basically you need to heat the oven to 350 degrees, which I have done. And then you will take your cookie sheet and line it with parchment paper, which I've already gone ahead and just kind of cut a piece to sort of fit this cookie sheet. And the parchment paper isn't mandatory, it's just suggested. Otherwise, you need to spray your cookie sheet with cooking spray. So we're then going to spread the mix onto the cookie sheet and bake it for 13 to 21 minutes or until the dry mix has melted and turned golden brown. Then we need to take it out of the oven, cool it completely for about 30 minutes, and then we will remove the brittle from the pan and break it into pieces. So hopefully this works out really good and we will enjoy some nice peanut brittle tonight. So I'm just gonna open the bag now. what it looks like inside. Okay, and let's pour it directly onto the pan. So now we need to spread it evenly. Now it does say while it's cooking to really watch this because it can burn quickly. All right, so that seems spread out pretty even. I'm just gonna put it in the oven and then we'll check on it in about 13 or so minutes. Okay, so it has been about 18 and a half minutes, so I'm going to pull the peanut brittle out of the oven. Alright, so now we are going to let this cool for about 30 minutes. I'm hoping that I let it cook long enough. The outside definitely looks darker than the middle, but I guess we shall see. Okay, so it has been well over a half an hour. So let's see if this breaks apart. Look at that. Well, let's just try this small little piece. You know, it's quite good actually. It does taste just like it should. 
which is quite surprising. This mix was just under $3 and it took no effort to make. So I think it is definitely worth buying if you see it in the store. I just bought this from my local grocery store. Saw it as I was walking by and thought, hey, I haven't had peanut brittle for a long time. Might as well give this a try. But yeah. It looks great, tastes great, and I would buy again. Anyway, thanks for watching.